Welcome back to another episode. We're on the broad minor right now. This is my 2021 42 foot Freeman. It'll be going up for sale very soon. We got a new set of motors coming on it, some new cushions, gonna replace all that, and uh, hopefully someone else make a lot of memories on this boat. Our new one's gonna be done soon, so we get a brand new 2023 Freeman. I guess a 2024 model, but uh, we'll have that one hopefully in the next month. Anyhow, we just went to Costa Rica on an epic trip. This video's gonna be a little bit different. I wasn't even planning on filming. Well, really, I wasn't even planning on going, but I wound up going with Charles, all his buddies, last minute. And uh, we had some epic fishing, so we're gonna take it to the airplane right now. And we're back. Oh, <laughs> Another episode of Takizi TV. We're headed to Costa Rica with Stan's fam. We got Bulldog Dylan on my right. <laughs> What's that? Bulldog, Bulldog not. Bulldog not. I wasn't and supposed to be here. Yes. Stan's fam. Stand by. Oh, There's Charles. Yeah. <laughs> Kirk wants to be here too. Hey. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. And we're back. <laughs> Welcome to Los Sueños, Costa Rica. We came down here for Charles' bachelor party. It was a last minute trip for me, as I wasn't planning on going, but we rented an awesome house. Super beautiful, a bunch of bedrooms, swimming pool, and one night we had plans for a private chef to come cook a five course meal. I think it was five courses. It was a feast, that's for sure. But we needed to catch dinner for this giant meal we we're gonna have at home. Yellowfin tuna were the main target, and we had two different boats chartered. Half the guys were on one boat, and the other half the guys, we were on the other boat. We're gonna show you Charles's boat and his team catching fish first. They got into the yellowfin tuna right away, as did go. we. Lift. Charles caught a real nice one, now wind down and everybody on that boat caught a few too. Nice one. All right, take me home. <laughs> Grande atun. Get bite. <laughs> uh, nice and uh, a little bit tighter than that, Charles. Get it real tight. <laughs> You're, you're good. <laughs> I thought you were putting a little cherry on my beer. Yeah, buddy. And the key to finding elephant tuna is to find the spinner dolphin. When you find them, they can be there by the thousands, and they put on quite the show. But where they are, the bait is, and that's where the tuna are. Charles was worn out. So now it's time to go back in our boat with our team to show you some of our footage. We were in that same school of fish. Everyone was taking turns, catching tunas. I'm still in the engine reserve, so I wasn't doing any heavy lifting myself. Well, I wasn't supposed to be. But Tommy put the wood to a tuna real quick. He got a real nice one. I think we wound up catching about a dozen tuners on our boat, and it was a wide open bite. Using live runners for bait, as fast as you could put them out there, we caught them. Tommy Tuna Strip, man! Yeah. 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 Well born! We didn't get skunk, Tommy! Let's go, let's go! Let's go, let's ride! I'll go get him, Tommy! A oh, big one, nice one. Hey, heads up into the line. Yeah, baby, nice. Nice. So here's one of the tunas we caught. Kirkland caught that one. Most of these fish were between 35 and 60 pounds. There was a few bigger ones, that 60 to 80 pound range air and out, which we got one of. Pat wanted a gaff of tuna. He got a good shot on the first one right in the boat. And as you catch these tunas, you have to bleed them and clean them right away. They don't have enough ice in the boat to keep them all day, so we were catching them one after another, and they were cleaning them, filleting them right as we went. Get them. Oh, drill them, headshot. Up, oh, up, oh, off the gill. Yeah, 
you through what's happening here, Dave. Tuna time. We got one tuna on. I just missed my bike. We got a lot of tunas up. I'm about 10 tunas so far today. Crush them. Pat one another shot at the gaff of fish. He got a good swing, drilled him, but he kind of bent the gaff when the fish hit the boat. Opened the hook up a little bit, but uh, still did the trick. Anyhow, it's time to start filleting the tunas. They filleted them as we caught them. They were working nonstop. It's a good crew, and uh, they had a good game plan going on between them all. Then it was time for lunch. We had a nice sandwich there, plenty of snacks and fresh fruit. And then we we're gonna do some trolling. We were looking for the elusive blue marlin. So we had almost all the two we wanted. We just wanted one or two more because we were in Costa Rica. Right? So after an epic tuna bite, we made the decision to troll. We were hoping to catch a blue marlin. After an hour of fishing, a 250 plus pounder came into the spread and took a bait. Everyone took turns on them, except me. And uh, the fish put up a good fight. He jumped all over the place. And then he sounded and went deep. Everyone took turns fighting them, passing the rod around. We were just out there having fun, not trying to set any records or not in a tournament or anything like that. But after about 45 minutes, the leader popped up and the mate got to grab the leader so we could see what the fish was doing. We made a nice tuna appetizer on the way in as we were running in. So Polly Charles hooked up on a nice rooster fish. We'll show you some of that. That was a bucket list fish for him. Apparently rooster is gallo in Spanish. So we were saying gallo, 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 gallo a lot on this trip. And uh, you know, Charles dream fish came true and he got his first ever rooster. Yeah. Yeah. I was gonna say some of those headers looked a little long on there, Was that your knife or the knife here? 
Or the knife here, I did. Did you sharpen it? Cause it's pretty dull. Ah, I did a little bit, yeah. Is it better or no? Ah, a little better, yeah. Yeah, but not great. Not great. No, I, I forget why, unfortunately. Yeah. yeah, I tried to use it the other day. It was okay, but it was yeah, kind of dull. I, I... Push it, you know. It's... We're gonna do some um, sashimi, but it's gonna be sear Cajun. Is it good? Bueno? Muy bueno. Oh my god. So good. What do you think, Eddie? Muy bueno. There's a little bit of Dijon mustard as well. We're gonna sear only one side, and the other side is gonna be finishing the other really quick. Mango salsa, yellowfin tuna, beef, corns and vegetables, and a nice salad. We cooked it up a little bit yesterday and it wasn't looking like this. We were kind of, it was good. Hey, I cooked it. Not this good. Not this good. And after dinner, it was time for some ice cream, and the next day was ATVs. The main mission was not to die, but we wanted to have fun, make some memories and uh, go sling some mud. Now everybody got messy, dirty, covered in mud, and we had a lot of fun. But it was time to go to the waterfall. We were expecting a big giant waterfall to jump in and rinse off. It was no big giant waterfall. It was a small little waterfall, but it still did the trick. The water was cool, it was clean, and it was fresh. So everyone did some jumps, went in the swimming hole, and got clean before we had to head back on the bus.
Head for him. He's gonna put it. Yeah, he's doing it. He only bought one. We don't care for JJ. All right, boys, we're good. That was twenty bucks. <laughs> well, yeah, because I'm in a rush. <laughs> Never ends. Guy ready for a little fun? <laughs> well, hope y'all enjoyed that video. Luckily, no one died on the ATVs. I felt like a little kid, had a boost of energy, and uh, we're all smiling, having fun. Went a little crazy on them, but uh, hey, we made some good memories and had a good time with all our friends. So, hit that like button, make sure you subscribe. A lot of you are not subscribed that watch the videos. Um, about 75% of you are not subscribed, and we've got like over 200,000 subs. So, if you want any merch, head to the website, stansfishing.com. All of our gears on there. Hopefully, we see you down here in Amrata, Bud and Mary's. Come check it out.